Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're gonna to be unboxing the Nokia 9 Pure View. I know you guys have been waiting for this, so let's not waste any time. All right, let's jump in and check out the Nokia 9 Pure View, which is available now uh, for $5.99 in the US. You can pick it up at bestbuy.com, actually today in stores, or on Amazon, as well as also b and So we'll have the, the links for you guys down below. So the packaging is very reminiscent of what Nokia has done recently. Simple, you've got the Nokia logo, Pure View, and this is of course running Android One, which means this is a close to stock experience and you're gonna be getting updates for the next two years. So that's actually pretty cool. At the back, you can see the specs of the device and of course an image of the Nokia 9 Pure View running Android 9 Pi. I'm gonna go ahead and use our trusty opening tool, cut this up, set that aside. And let's open up our Nokia 9 Pure View. All right, so here's the device right here. And we'll pull this out, we'll set it aside for a second. You've got a SIM removal tool here. And in here should be some instructional material for those who like to read instructional materials. You've got that right there. And then on the other side, we should have our charger cables, and a few other things. So let's just try and pull this out. Boom, all right. So we have the cables. So we've got a USB charger. This, I believe, is a, huh, doesn't say how many wattage this charger is, but I'll check it out and let you guys know. Um, and then we've got cables. We've got a USB Type-C to 3.5 uh, adapter. And then we've got our cables right here. We've got our USB to USB Type-C cables for charging. And then we've got headphones as well. So they do provide headphones. And then we do have USB-C cables, a charger, and of course, the adapter for headphones. All right, let's go ahead and peel this off. I know some of you enjoy the fact that we peel off uh, plastic off smartphones. So here we go. I'm just gonna slide this through. And here is the Nokia 9 Pure View. So the first thing you notice are the five cameras at the back. They are three monochrome cameras and they are two RGB cameras. Uh, the Cameras are all 12 megapixels. Uh, they all have a f-stop of 1.8. Uh, so that's really interesting there. And the front-facing camera is 20 megapixels. Now, uh, this camera, I believe, doesn't have OIS, but does have EIS here. Now, it's powered by a Snapdragon 845 processor. So you're looking at a uh, last-gen processor here. They do have six gigs of RAM. Uh, the display is a P OLED display. Uh, it's a six inch POLED display, uh, 2K resolution, 538 PPI, fingerprint sensors underneath the display. So it's an optical fingerprint sensor right here. And again, it's running Android One. Very nice, simple look to this device here. So you've got something that looks really nice and clean. And I'm sure some of you are gonna ask me about the wallpaper. So we'll have a link for you guys down below to check out. And as we take a closer look at the device, a lovely looking display, nice resolution. I'm gonna change the wallpaper in a second here so you can see how the colors actually pop out pretty well with this. Uh, this is running that very close to stock Android feel in terms of um, the operating system. So you do have a very flat in, um, simple look. So this is not a wallpaper here. Again, I will save this for you guys to check out. Now, you have of course access to your app tray, your multitask menu, uh, a few applications. We do have power saver, screen capture right here on the top screen. 
we go into our settings again very reminiscent of what you expect from android 9.1 uh, which is what we have here i believe for system and about device let's see there we go android 9 sorry so a very clean system um, this is something that has a lot of the nokia features so we are in front facing camera um, you do have a couple of options on top you can cycle through your different camera options below um, you do have a main menu option to do HDR. Of course, you can save in RAW as DNG files. And uh, you've got different mode management, shutter sound, might turn that off, shutter controls, data storage resolution for video, front facing and rear, uh, camera resolution right there. And um, then we can go back and we can switch and see other different modes. So we've got photo, we've got video, allowing you to record in 4K. We've got slow motion. We've got time lapse. There's a little bit of slowdown there. You can see. And then we've got the pro mode. And this is where we have the different pro options you expect from Nokia. So you've got the ability to adjust your ISO, your exposure, um, you know, your white balance, those things right there. So you can do all that and you've got real life, of course, feedback for that. So that's there in the, sorry, that's there in the pro mode. And then we've got our bokeh. And then we've also got monochrome, panorama, square. So moving through the options is, is fast enough. It's just that when you go to certain options, it's a little bit slow to actually cycle through, as you can see with bokeh there. So we'll take a couple of shots and we'll round this up for you. When it comes to images, there's a lot to see with the Nokia 9 pure view. And we took some low light images right off the bat while after unboxing the device. And I have to say though, the images looked pretty good. Now I have to spend some more time with it, uh, but some of the images look pretty sharp. Some of the bokeh stuff, especially with the depth mapping because you, this, uh, this camera stores a lot of information in terms of depth mapping about 12, uh, megabytes of uh, uh, megapixels of uh, information on there. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, bokeh images look nice. I have to test that out, of course, with people, daytime, that kind of stuff. Uh, the monochrome photos really came out pretty well. I love that photo you guys see there with uh, Superman and the All Might uh, painting in the background. Even the low light photos at, um, upstairs, you know, on the rooftop with the snow showcase pretty well. Uh, some of that also um with the snow on the ground and that you know um graffiti on the on the wall actually looks pretty pretty good so far but we'll give you some more images and i'll actually save some of the jpegs for you guys in the folder not immediately but just you know i'll have a folder for you guys in the description so you can check out some of those images now i'll be giving the device to my buddy uh marion cell who you know does all my camera videos if you don't know he's a professional photographer and he does some really fantastic work so he'll be taking a look at the five cameras on this device, the three, mono, the, the three monochrome and the two RGB to give us a lot of detail. Plus this device also does dual shots. So you can take a photo with the front facing camera and the rear camera. And we'll look at some video as well. So if there's anything you want to see with the Nokia 9 POV, let us know and we'll try and answer those questions for you. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't done that already, Hit the notifica notification icon as well to get notified about our latest videos. Stun the e thank you, and always enjoy your ideas.